Madam Commissioner, Council President, civilians are the silent victims of any conflict and we have an obligation, indeed we have a duty to stand up and protect them, to live up to the covenant of Nobel Peace Laureate Elie Wiesel that never to be silent whenever and wherever human beings endure suffering and humiliation. Therefore, I welcome the initiative of this House today to debate the situation in Gaza and I also welcome the call in the resolution to call upon Israel to fulfill its obligations and guarantee the flow of humanitarian assistance to Gaza. But colleagues, today we need also to ask a few other questions. We need to start by asking ourselves, why is it that every time there is a movement towards peace, the violence intensifies? Why is it that every time that voices of reason in Israel and the Palestinian territories seek a resolution, there are terrorist groups that take up arms against peace? Why is the fear of a two-state solution, of an Israel and Palestine living side by side in peace, so dreaded by some that they prefer to inflict pain and suffering on their own people? Let us not shrink and admit that the responsibility for the dire situation of the people living in Gaza also lies squarely with Hamas, who oppose a settlement, who call for the destruction of a legitimate member of the United Nations, who fear peace and promote violence. In 2005, 400 rockets were fired into Israel from Gaza. In 2006, 1,726 rockets were fired. In 2007, close to 1,000 rockets. Many have died, hundreds have been injured, and thousands evacuated. They are also civilians, men, women, and children. On September 26, 54 mortars fired from Gaza on the Sufa crossing terminal. The next day, the crossing points to which the Commissioner for, was referring, Eretz and Kerem Shalom, were targeted. Indeed, they were targeted because Hamas believes that closing these points fills their goal of increasing the suffering and people siding with Hamas. That is the wrong strategy, ladies and gentlemen. And let us acknowledge that there are forces of terror and forces of fear in Gaza who Thank seek you. to profit from the suffering of their own people. Thank you. Thank you very much.